If you want to change the color of a cell based on the response in another cell, you may think that there could be an if-then way to do this, but in actuality it's using conditional formatting much in the way that you would use the if-then statement to generate these color changes. So in this little example that we have here, we have guests that have responded whether they're attending the party or not, and then the cells in these in column C change automatically based on their response. So if it's yes, it's green. If it's no, it's red. And you see that this automatically changes based on this response. So we're going to go ahead and recreate this down here in our same sheet so that you can learn how to do this as well. In order to do this, the first thing you need to do is highlight the range of cells that you want to make the change to. And this range of cells needs to be the same length as the range of cells that you're comparing against. So since we're comparing against the maybe yes no column, it has to be the same size or else this won't work properly. But in most cases that will be the case. But once we've highlighted this entire row of cells, we want to go to conditional formatting and go to new rule and we're gonna to have to do this three separate times because we're dealing with three different colors but we want to select use a formula to determine which cells to format and we want to put in this it's sort of like an if then statement but not quite we want it to say equals whatever it says in this cell but we want it to cascade down so we get rid of the lock that it defaults to and whether that says yes or if you can think of this equal sign as an if if cell B18 equals yes then change the color to green and because we haven't locked this and we've highlighted this whole row it's automatically going to check in descending cells from B18 down until it's satisfied this entire range so when we hit OK it should turn all the yeses to green and now, like I said, we have to go back and do this three more times because we're dealing with three different colors. So it's the same story. If cell B18 unlocked so it can cascade down, if cell B18 equals maybe, and it's not case sensitive either, we want the cell to be yellow. OK. And for the third one, new rule. If or equals B18 equals no, then we want it to be red. And click OK. And there you have a, a dynamic if then like statement that changes the the color of the cell next to it. So we can see that this is also dynamic in that it changes depending on their response to whether or not they're attending the party. I hope that you can see that there's a tremendous amount of potential here for various um, business use cases depending on what your data entails but effectively you would do the same thing and the number of um, colors or text types that you want to change to or uh, text formatting whether you want something to be bold or italicized you would do that via the same way you would just have to make the same number of rules to the, the number of variables that you'd want to result in your ending cells so thanks a lot for watching I hope this helps